What's up YouTube, I go by Drippy, owner of Drippy Visuals and we specialize in music videos. In today's video, I'm gonna go over behind the scenes of a music video I shot recently. So first off, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you a clip from the music video. I'm gonna play it without the sound because the video hasn't been released yet. So the first location we shot in was behind the estate. First tape we got, I didn't like it, it was just two, two of them. So I thought let's get a group shot instead. So I did multiple takes using handheld. So my first handheld shot, I shot in 24 frames per second. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to use that as my main performance shot shot and I also shot another performance shot in handheld again but this time in 60 frames per second and I think I said before why it's so important to shoot 24 frames per second and 60 frames per second not just for cutaways but even performances because sometimes you want to be able to slow down your performance shots in post and mix them up with your 24 frames performance shots because you might get cutaways in 60 to slow them down anyway but I find sometimes the artists won't move the same when you're just getting cutaways so I find if you get it during the performance shots you're able to get better cutaways and after that I put the drone in the sky like I normally do. I just got uh, some establishing shots where I use at the intro which I'll put up somewhere now of how I incorporated the drone shots within the intro. Um, after that we shot outside a shop and I shot at this location on the tripod and the reason I did that is because I wanted to have in place in different spots so I could switch between it which I'll put up a clip on how that turned out. Instead of masking the artists out I just layered the footage on top of each other and then I cropped it to the right and then I created a feather. I saved me a lot of time with having to mask. And then after that, I also shot another handheld shot. The shot on the railing, I told the artist, go for energy, go as crazy as you can, because I'm going to use really exaggerated camera angles. And then after I went back to the original spot, I shot the tripod shot, and I shot on the gimbal. I just got uh, one take on that. The shoot only took me two hours to shoot because the song was quite short and we didn't really need as many scenes as that. Because of the limited shot variations, I just had to make sure I went hard as f in the edit. Because <laughs> you know how it is sometimes if you don't shoot enough, you just have to go hard in the edit. I haven't shot a YouTube video in a minute, so I thought why not just put out a video, even if it's short. And once again, I want to say thanks to JP Photography for shooting the behind the scenes and for getting the behind the scenes photography. I believe some of the photos she took on the screen right now. Make sure you follow on Instagram. I'll leave a link down below. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at drippyvisuals underscore. I'm going to leave my link down below. And that's it. Thanks for watching.